Hi, I'm Kristen with Coastal Business Supplies and today we're going to show you how to press Vapor Apparel Subble Sock so that you can create colorful and vibrant custom socks for you and your customers. When setting up your print, you do have the option of using a hockey jig or a straight jig. Today we're going to press just using the hockey jig because doing the side to side press is a little bit easier. When using the straight jig, you just kind of have to take a little extra time and care to make sure that this little flap on the heel is going to be pressed down so that it doesn't cause a void on, along the ankle area. But to set it up, you just align it with your first print. And I use tape in just a couple of the areas because the tape will kind of pull on the fabric as you peel it off just to secure it loosely to the print. When pressing the socks, we do recommend the use of a foam pad on the bottom layer of your platen, just to allow a little extra cushion for the jig and the sock to sink in so that the t print curves around the edges a little better. And then also a Teflon sheet on top to prevent any sublimation ink from soaking into the foam pad. And you'll just place your sock jig template and transfer up on top and press for about 30 seconds using lot to medium pressure. Once your press time has elapsed, remove the paper, transfer from the sack quickly, revealing the first side. So to prepare the second side for transferring, flip it over and take a little bit of time to just carefully roll the print over the edge. This will allow for an, a really good alignment on both sides of the printing so that whenever the second side goes on, it doesn't leave a white mark along the seam and it also doesn't overlap the print too much. It's where you see a kind of a doubling up on the die. You can just do it real quick just to make sure that the edges are barely peeking across the edge of the print. And then flip it over and tape the second side down. To press the second side, slide it in the heat press for the same recommended time and temperature. 370 degrees for 30 seconds. Once the press time is done, remove the paper real quick and quickly unroll the sock off of the jig so that it can cool off to the side. And then you have a finished product that has no white marks or seams that you can see.